In the last video, we talked about symbols. In this video, we're going to be talking about persistent symbols. Now, the difference is pretty much it's the same thing. You can still have um, uh, functional animations. You can have timelines independent of each other. And so even if your timeline itself is being, um, uh, your timeline itself is actually being ran on the main timeline, and you have another timeline that's being looped over and over, all of that's the same. The only difference with persistent symbols is the fact that it goes across all scenes. So if I come in here, and in my scene section, let's go ahead and just add a new scene by clicking on this plus icon. And it's going to add a completely new scene. Well, I'm going to come back into scene one, and let's say I have a background that's going to be similar across all the different uh, objects. We well, may think, okay, I can come in here, select uh, the create a rectangle here, and uh, just stretch out that item, and now that's going to be my background. Well, I'm going to come into the elements panel change that to red and there we go. Now if I wanted to have this go across to all the different scenes, well I would just have to copy that and paste it into every scene. That could become a nightmare and you'd have to spend a lot of time on that. Um, if you wanted to basically just in one fell swoop have that across all your different scenes, well make a persistent symbol. So I'm going to come in here and under symbol I'm going to go click uh, make new persistent symbol from selection which I have the rectangle selected and it's going to uh, give me the option to see add it to current scene or add it to all scenes. Well, let's go ahead and add it to all scenes. And you'll notice automatically in scene two, it now has that persistent symbol there. I don't have to create, I don't have to do anything. So if I create a new scene, it's going to have that persistent symbol there again. And so uh, that's the nice thing is I can still come in here to that uh, timeline or that symbol and create on whatever animations I want. I can have an animated background, uh, having different objects going through. I can, like we saw on that map, you had the carousel, you had the different elements uh, animating independently of the actual main timeline. You can do that here too, but then any project or any scene that you create that that has different objects flying in or flying out has that same background symbol. Really useful, extremely useful um, uh, feature that you have inside of Tumult Type that I have not seen in other um, projects or other um, files, sorry, applications like this itself. Okay, so, but if you wanted to on specific scenes hide this persistent symbol, well, you have it in your timeline still, so you could just click on the um, eyeball and that would actually hide it from your timeline so it's not inside of your main time or that timeline but it's in every single other timeline even if I create more timelines the new timelines have that symbol but the other on that specific scene is hidden there now any changes um, the one of the nice things about symbols or persistent symbols is it pretty much um, any changes that you make in one area will go across the board. So if I come in here and under this persistent symbol, double click on it, and then change the color to, let's say, green. Well, across to everything else, all of my different uh, scenes, that project is now changed to, or that uh, background is now changed to green. If I added other elements, going into that symbol, and then adding other elements, like let's say a text uh, element here, now has added that to all of the instances of that symbol. So if I come back into scene two, scene one, well, there it is. It's there. So I basically make my change in one spot, and then it's across uh, the board on all elements. And that's the same thing with just normal symbols. If you're going to have a button that's going to be a symbol, well, create the button, and then go ahead and then put that uh, button and use that button throughout all of your different scenes. And if you need to make a change to that one button, let's say you need to update the colors or you need to update the labels or something, you change it in one spot. And when you change it in one spot, it then cascades to all the different items. That's another huge feature of working with symbols inside of Tumult Type.